Okay, looking at number 10. Number 10. Here, um, copy the square G H I J. So let's do that right now. G H I J with the center C. Rotate the square G H I J 45 degrees counterclockwise about C. So counterclockwise is going in this direction and 45 degrees <clears throat> is a half a half of a quarter half of a quarter turn. So what we're looking at an eighth of a turn. Okay? So basically what's going to happen is I is going to rotate to this point. J is going to rotate to this point. G is going to rotate to this point. And H is going to rotate to this point. So if we draw our new figure we're going to get a square that looks something like this. Okay. G, H, I, and J become M, N, O, and P respectively. So G becomes M. So this is M. H becomes N. So this is N. There's M, there's N, I now becomes O, so there's O right there, and J becomes P, so here's P right here. Okay, so that's number 10. Number 11, determine if each figure has rotational symmetry. If it does, give the number of degrees of all clockwise rotations less than 360 that map the figure onto itself. So imagine if you would, if we have a shape that looks like this. We have a shape that looks like this, okay, and we're and we are rotating this in a clockwise fashion. So imagine this is like a dial on your stove, and you're turning this. So think about this. This point, this point right here, could rotate to here, which would be 90. So that's a quarter turn. It could rotate all the way over to here which is a 180 so that's a quarter turn this is a half turn it could rotate another 90 which would be 270 which would be a three quarter turn or it could go all the way to 360 which would be a full turn. So that's A. Okay. B, if you were to look at B, here we have a shape that looks kind of like that one again. The difference between that and this one is it has two black balls on either side over here. Okay, so the only way you can turn to make this land on top of itself 
would be if it had um, it could have uh, only a half turn. In other words, you'd have to take and move this all the way over to this side in order to make it um, look like it landed on top of itself. Therefore, this only has um, 180 degree rotational symmetry. So this is a half turn. Okay, that's a half turn. And um, then you have C. And C would have no rotational symmetry. The only thing you could do is turn all the way around a full turn and in order for it to look like it landed on top of itself. No rotational symmetry. Okay. Okay. 12, 13, and 14. Let's see, that was 11. Okay, number 12. Um, does a line have rotational symmetry? A line does have rotational symmetry. So I could look at a line like this. If this was my point, I could rotate that 180 degrees. 